Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Why did you decide to run for state representative? And who did you tell first when you decided? Really wanted to make a difference. Uh, my district is a very rural district. And one of the challenges being next to North Dakota and South Dakota is our greatest resources, which are people, um, are um, going into North Dakota and South Dakota greater than staying in Minnesota. So really, it's important that um, we keep our greatest resource, allow people who want to um, be an entrepreneur and, and have um, reside in that area, give them the opportunity to have a government that helps to work with people and succeed. I also serve as an EMT for our community for 18 years, so senior care and health care is very important. And so I was looking to um, make a difference there, make a difference in education, because currently I serve on the school board. Um, uh, first person that I told would have been my twin brother. Second person would have been my wife. I have an identical twin. What does your twin do? Jay and I, we are, um, we run our own business together. We employ 14 people and we're an internet business. Two of our primary websites are familygokarts.com and familypoofun.com. We're on the go-kart side, we sell go-karts, ATVs, scooters, and on the pool side, we sell above ground pools and ground pools, saunas and, and rec items. So those are our two primary things that we do, Sarah. Describe what type of legislator you want to be and how will you determine if you are that type of legislator at the end of session? I like to be a legislator that um, focuses on the issues. I'm an independent thinking person. Um, if um, a, a certain individual um, has a good idea or party, um, instead of being so party focused, really be a legislator that looks at issues that can help rural Minnesota uh, move forward. That's my priority, um, helping rural Minnesota move forward and then the state move forward um, in that order because in the, in the past I think rural Minnesota has been um, put to the back seat and um, I want to be remembered as a legislator that's champion um, rural causes that allows greater Minnesota not just survive but thrive and um, would be indicated with um, um, with what I support and, and also feedback from the voters. What do you think is the biggest issue facing our state? Well, there's a couple issues, but if I have to nail it down is, is our business environment in Minnesota needs to be improved. We're losing people to other states. We're losing companies to other states. And, um, and when you lose people and you're losing businesses, um, um, that affects the revenue of the state and the services that we can provide. Um, and then number two would be nursing care. Um, especially in our area, we've seen a couple nursing homes close. That's sad. Our, our gener that generation built our state, and we need to take care of them. So that's, that's a high priority, too. What book or movie have you recently read or seen? Would you recommend, and why? Just recently, I teach release time for fifth and sixth graders in our church, and we're actually... Um, 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 watching a movie right now, um, Facing the Giant. And um, the kids like it because um, it really um, shows the importance of faith in a person's life. And also that challenges are something that we can use to make ourselves stronger and better. Um, and so um, it's a good message. There's a lot of good messages in that movie. I've watched it several times, um, but um, yesterday we watched the first half, and next week we'll watch the second half, and, and so that's a good movie. Thank you so much for joining us. 